Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome to another brand new game on the channel, Airport Sim. Uh, before I get into today's video, I want to do my usual thank you. So thank you for everyone who has liked my previous videos. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. And that also includes my latest subscriber, uh, Jockey901. Jockey, thank you very much for subscribing. You actually subscribed today. Um, so yeah, really, really appreciate it appreciated thank you very much and you will probably notice a little bit of a halloween theme going on here because it is halloween soon so i thought i might as well get into the spirit of it excuse the pun uh, and you'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner what could be a possible window for a face cam maybe who knows what might happen when we reach 500 subscribers hey yeah, uh, you'll only know if you subscribe, so uh, get hitting that button. Right, uh, let's get into the video, and what have we got? We have got Airport Sim. Uh, this kind of jumped up on my radar today. I was uh, flicking through various things, and it popped up. I was like, eh, I've not seen this. It actually came out two days ago, on the 19th of October. Today's the 21st, and I was like... Well, actually, it's technically yesterday because it's the early hours of the 21st, like one o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, although it is two days ago, it's almost just like yesterday for me. Um, it's a ground crew uh, simulation, basically. So for those of you that are old sweats of my channel will know that um, I used to do a lot of flight sim stuff, uh, X-Plane 11 and Microsoft Flight Simulator, I used to do a lot of tutorials, uh, kind of came away from that f uh, quite a while ago now, had a little bit of break and started playing other types of games, uh, but seeing this kind of makes me want to go back and I've kind of got this idea in my head of doing a long, long video, uh, maybe with other people as well, where we have a mixture of the two of them combined together where when it comes to doing the ground crew bit we see the ground crew bit on this uh when we're doing the um in plane bits and pieces and the flying we're in the, the flight sim um yeah you know i mean i could i can kind of see that working um it would require a couple of other people to play um so yeah if you're interested in something like that let me know um also i've had a look at a few um so I've had a look at a few. I've, I've had a look at YouTube. There's a few videos out on this already um, by obviously a lot of the popular YouTubers out there. Um, but I haven't seen anyone doing any tutorial videos. Maybe they have, but I couldn't find any. I figured I'm going to start off my series with going through all those tutorials because you never know. People might want to see them before they actually purchase the game. Um, and then we'll crack on with the actual game itself. This is a first look for me. I haven't actually played it yet. I don't know much about it other than um, it looks like a pretty decent game. So let's get into it. Uh, what we got here? Tablet, excuse me, tablet, follow me, Marshall. How do we move? Oh, left click. Uh, Marshall, chocks and cones, GPU, passion disserts, catering, shuttle bus, jetway, luggage, 737, Boeing, and the Airbus ASP20. So I'm familiar with both of these planes, having flown both of them and done tutorials on them, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, fueling of the 737 and A320, pushback. And that's it. So let's go back. Back to the beginning. Let's start from here. So I'm just going to work my way through. I don't know how many we're going to get through. I'm going to keep the episode to around about half an hour, 40 minutes or so. Um, we'll see where we get to. I might have to do them in segments. I'm going to be recording them all tonight, but depending on how long it takes, they may be uploaded on different days, but I'll do them back to back so that there's not a, a massive gap in between. Um, I am back in work, technically tonight, 
Um, it's currently Saturday, so I'm back in work tonight for far, uh, for four nights. Um, obviously, you'll be watching this toward the end of that period. Um, so this will be uploaded. Let me think what day Saturday. Got a video going out on Sunday, Monday. So this will be going out or uploaded on the Tuesday um, when I'm actually finishing. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think ahead because I'm kind of scheduling videos in. But anyway, let's get on to this. Enough waffling. I do like to waffle sometimes, don't I? Cool. Nice little, these are little things that you, they use for pulling the luggage carts around. Welcome to the beautiful Vagar Airport, situated on the Faroe Islands. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the tablet. The tablet is an important part of the gameplay, as it's your primary source of information. It features everything you need to know to be able to perform tasks on the ground. Okay, so there's a tablet. Oh, and there's a the tablet again. In the first tab from the left, named Operations, you'll discover and find all data about incoming and outgoing flights you're due to handle. That's cool. Can I actually see the plane moving behind me? I can't... Can I turn around? No, I can't. But it actually shows you in li live time, so it's not like a... I can even see the shadow of the wing. That is fantastic. So the map is actually live. It's not just a static map. That is clever. Right, let's carry on. In the map tab, as the name suggests, there's a map of the airport displaying your current position and all available vehicles and aircraft to be used. Yep. And in the final tab named weather, you'll find all the options available to manipulate weather conditions at your present location. You can hear in the background the APU turning off. You can. Th Is this serious? Is the audio in this game that good? Wow. We shall discuss each of these tabs in detail. Okay. The screen is divided into two columns. The left-hand side acts as a timetable for all flights that are scheduled to take place at the airport on the present day, but divided into arrivals and departures. Okay. At the top, there's a button that filters the flights and shows only the ones you're assigned to handle on the day. Okay. Each flight is displayed in an ordered grid where all the information you'll need is displayed. Arrival time, flight number, arrival or departure location, and stand number are located on the left. Mm -hmm. The right-hand side displays a list of tasks you'll have to complete when handling the aircraft. Okay. To view the tasks are arranged oh. in the order in which they should be completed. I might have double tapped the enter button then, sorry. Yeah, right, so they're in order of what needs to be done. When you complete an action, it will be crossed off, and those which are yet to be performed have empty markers on the left side of each task title. Yep. Now we'll head to the map tab. Will we? Oh. Click it myself. Whilst at Vagar, you won't need the map too much. However, at larger airports such as Keflavik or Warsaw, it will be a major player in getting to where you need to be. The map features will show you the quickest route to your destination, and in addition, the location of available airport vehicles, aircraft and aircraft stands. Pretty much everything to help you navigate the apron. Good, good. To navigate the map, use the controls displayed on screen. 
Oh, wow. Okay. I've got the, the um, numbers on there for each stand or terminal. Good, good. To zoom in and out, use the controls displayed on screen. Oh, I've got helicopters there. Cool. And it's got the whole runway as well. Nice. Have you done that? Is always centered on your position and rotates around it. And finally, the weather tab. At the top, you'll notice that two different clocks are displayed. The first one, from the left, displays the local time at the airport, and the second one shows UTC time, which is used as a common time zone in aviation. Greenwich time. UTC time is calculated relative to the prime meridian passing through the famous town in the United Kingdom, Greenwich, which is also known as the centre of time. Also called the Greenwich Meridian Time, GMT. Allows you to manipulate the time in Airport Sim. And under the slider, you'll find a calendar where you can select any date. Try it for yourself and see how the height of the sun changes depending on the time of year. Cool, so they've got live weather here, that's kind of cool. Um, it's not letting me do anything. That's fine. It the does say it controls locks. That's clever. So they do something very similar to Microsoft Flight Simulator where um, you can have real time and real weather. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a little bit delayed dragging that information in. But that's all going to be down to your internet connection. But that's kind of really, that's cool. It's not just a fixed, you know, this is the weather, this is the time kind of thing. It's real, but you can still adjust it to your liking. The apply button is used to apply the selected time in game. At the very bottom, there are weather presets that you will be able to select to recreate predefined weather conditions. Wow, cool. Some selected conditions, such as cloud cover and storm, cannot be manipulated once applied. Okay. Using the sliders, you'll be able to change and adjust individual weather conditions. We'll have to have a look at this um, at some point to see how good this is. On the left, there is a visualization of the cloud height. The lower line corresponds to the height of the cloud base above sea level. The upper line displays the height of cloud tops above sea level. Adjustments of weather conditions are done in real time and do not need to be applied like time changes. Okay. Good job. You've now learned how to use the tablet in Airport Sim. In the next tutorial, you'll be on your way to learning the basics of ground handling. Interesting. Right. I want to very quickly just have a look at how good that weather is and then we'll we'll carry on. So I'm not gonna take long. I literally just want to where, where would I do it? New game maybe? New game. Uh let's go free play. I sure you want to play yep. Hopefully this is gonna let me just go in. I just wanna quickly look at the weather. And the time and all that sort of stuff, and see how it works. <gasps> oh, 
Wow. Okay. Right, let's go tablet weather. So we're on live. It's currently ten past two. Um how do we Oh look at that. So that's kinda cool. Um, how do we change the weather? Ah, there we go. Clear sky. Uh, tablet, close tablet. Oh, apply first. And close the tablet down. Alrighty. Right, tablet open again. What's this do? Ah, that raises and lowers the cloud level. Okay. And this lowers the upper cloud, or raises and lowers the upper cloud level. Yep. Um, power coverage. Excellent. Right, let's go overcast. Rain. Storm. Yeah, that's quite stormy. Uh, fog. snow it's snowing everybody a blizzard wow look at that um uh, i am um, very impressed with this. This is brilliant. Let's go back to live and apply. It's currently night time and it's well, early morning and it's raining. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, right, let's go back to the tutorials. Try and get a couple more in. Sorry, I just wanted to have a quick look and just see how good that is. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Right, follow me. Follow me. So far, not just on this tutorial, I haven't really done much. So far, I'm very impressed. Hopefully, the whole game is going to be good. Um, seem to have lost audio. Let's quit. Hopefully, oh, I seem to have killed the game. Um, let me uh, put this out and I'll bring it right back in. I don't know whether me faffing around with all the uh, sliders there so quickly um, crashed the game, but here we go. vehicles contributing to the everyday function of an airport, the follow me vehicle. Its general purpose is to guide aircraft to designated parking gates or specific areas of the airport safely. It's used when arriving pilots are unfamiliar with the airport or when the aircraft requires special support during taxiing. We will be using the black and yellow checkered follow me vehicle parked at the terminal for this task. Approach and enter the vehicle. Um, so, graphics seem to be pretty good. Looks like there's a bit of life in there as well. You can actually see people moving around. That's really good. Uh, oh, it looks like we're using this vehicle here. The plane details look very good. Airport sim. Yeah, that's um, really good plane detail. I've seen the plane over, where did I see it in a distance? One there. This light's on there. And there's another plane here. Yeah. Detail's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Oh. Guess I want to get in the other side. Yeah. soon and I have received information that the crew has requested follow me support start the vehicle and access
activate its warning lights. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, left-hand drive, not right-hand drive. Um, obviously, being in the UK, I thought it was going to be right-hand side, but I didn't look properly. Uh, right, let's go to outside view, and then operate operational lights with O. Flash your lights. Turn the engine on. Open the tablet and switch to the map tab. You will see the route to meet the aircraft at the designated taxiway intersection. All right, tablet uh, tab. Remember that every aircraft moving on the apron has priority on taxiways and intersections. Drive on the designated roads on the apron near the terminal. Right, so we need to follow the road along here, up here, along there, and then on the runway. Um, all the way up here. Wow, okay. Looks like we've got some distance to go. So, I yeah, should be able to remember that. Yeah, right there. The arrows are pointing that way, which is straight down here. Can we do that? Although the the red line's showing along the road. That's not a road in front of me, that's where the plane would go. Yeah, we'll we'll stick to the roads as we should do. Yeah, that is basically the, the path of a plane. Or the path that a plane would take. Um, I wanna try something a minute. H. Oh, Right, so there's not many games that I've ever come across where they have headphones and the headphones actually do a purpose. And obviously, um, it's quite noisy. Put the headphones on, not so bad. Cool. Right, um, let's get out here. Just sure what was the controls? Uh, oh, follow me lights, K, P, so stop. Oh, oh, it's got cruise control. Uh, let's get that cruise control on, shall we? Uh, I think we needed to come up this way, didn't we? Yep. Cruise control is on. Oh, that's that's good. The driving just seemed seemed a little bit seems a little bit twitchy. I don't know whether we can adjust those settings. I'll do them off screen. Nice that it's got cruise control, so I can just sit. I, I, I was going to hit numlock, thinking that that would be like in a lot of games, hit numlock and it will uh, do the auto run or auto drive. Where are we going to? 900 meters. Oh, that's the plane I was looking at. The one with the... I could see from over there. I could see a plane with lights on. That was the yellow one. And this, this was the other one. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, so depending on whether you want to have the realistic sound. I mean, obviously, you can adjust the sound. That's got a decent sound adjustment um, bars that I had a look at when I logged in. I haven't adjusted, I adjusted the main one and the music. There was generally the ones that was a bit obnoxiously, obnoxiously loud, but I haven't played with anything else because I haven't been in the game yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, look left. Look right, can't see any planes coming in. Sorry, I have played a lot of flight sims, so although I haven't physically done this in a flight sim, obviously going around in a plane, that's something that you would do. Great. Now I will explain step by step what you need to do. Position yourself in front of the plane so that the back of your vehicle is facing the aircraft's nose. 
Yep. Now you need to activate the follow me sign on the roof of your vehicle so that the pilot knows to follow you. Follow the instructions displayed on screen. Let's stop. Okay. Great. Now follow the map's path directions to the parking area assigned to this aircraft. Maintain a speed of about 30 kilometers an hour. Stay within sight of the pilots and do not stray too far from the aircraft. The distance between you and the aircraft should never be less than 100 meters or more than 250 meters. If you need the aircraft to stop suddenly, press the displayed button, which activates the stop sign on your vehicle's display. Okay. Right, the speed on this is a little bit awkward, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're trying to get the, the cruise control. It'd be nice if it had... You turn your cruise control on, and then had adjustments up and down, so you could adjust it. Because... Plane can't keep up with me. I mean, I'm only going a little bit slow. I'm pointing with my fingers. Looking at the left-hand side, that's the distance to the aeroplane. I'm guessing. Yeah, it must be. So, yeah, it would be nice if it had um, adjustable speed for cruise control because trying to do it manually was quite difficult. It accelerates quite quickly. And being in kilometres an hour, I wonder if actually. Uh, sorry, let me just go to settings. Uh, gameplay. Imperial. Will that change it to. No, it's not, is it? Oh, it is. Ah, nice. Prefer it miles an hour rather than kilometers. Still going to keep the distance of meters, which is fine. Yep, still really noisy with the headphones off. You're too far from the plane. Oh, go on, plane. They said 250, I was only like 168. Um, right, let's go a little bit slower then, shall we? In fact, no, nope, we're in miles an hour now. Go a little bit faster than that. 14. Oh, we need to turn. We. Looks like we're going over there by the arrow. Just checking my speed. Let's slow down a little bit. Go for 10 miles an hour. How's that doing? It's catching up. Right, we're doing 11 miles an hour. He is catching up, but not too quickly. Yeah, it needs an adjustment. Um, is a developer going to be watching this? No. Definitely not. But if you are watching this and you've got any contacts with the developer, um, let them know. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Um, cruise control is really good to have, so you're not constantly having to go like this, because it's quite twitchy. But definitely having cruise control is good, but it needs to have some form of adjustment, because if I wanted to go 12 miles an hour, how do I do it? Look at it. It's like two... Yeah, that's a little bit too difficult to, to get it to the speed that you want. 
a nice little plus minus up and down whatever so it just it would be perfect please great the pilots can already identify their parking area thanks to your guidance drive to the end and park on the service road in the designated area Is it that arrow? Is that where I've got to go? How do I... Right, do I just do it? I must be able to turn left here. Because I'm on the um, airport strip already. Or where the airport... Uh, the airplane um, track, if you want to call it that. You have just learned how to perform a general follow me procedure. In any case, you'll have to be constantly conscious of the traffic of other aircraft on the airport apron and triple check which stand you need to bring the aircraft to. See you later. Thanks. Oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely really good. I really hope the actual gameplay itself is um, going to be as exciting now. That's half an hour. We've got marshalling, chocks and cones, GPU, passenger stairs, catering, shuttle. We, we've got a lot to go. So, I think... Oh, I don't know how long these take. That's a thing. Um, right, I think we'll stop there. Because if this takes more than 8 minutes, you know, if this takes like 20 minutes, 15 minutes or whatever, it's gonna the video will end up being too long. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it an end of an episode here, but the next episode will be on the channel tomorrow, um, so we can t can continue. Um, yeah, loving it so far. Hope you are too. So hit that, hit those bells and whistles and bits and pieces. Uh, let's get that. Oh, you know, sorry guys, 500 subscribers. It's so agonizingly close. Um, but don't forget, you're not paying a single penny to be a subscriber. But I am going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be doing three, three gift vouchers for a gaming platform of your choice where you could win. And obviously, you pick which platform it is and you can go and get yourself a game. But you need to be subscribed. I have a whole list. Of everyone that subscribed, I'm going to be putting it onto a, a spin wheel. Um, I'll actually start adding them because it's, I'm going to have 500 to add, so I'll start adding them. Um, and then when we get to the 500 mark, I will do a live. Should I do it live? Yeah, I'm going to do it live. A live video. And I'm going to do the giveaway. That sounds good. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Take, uh, take care. Stay safe, and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye.